Hi everyone, welcome back. And uh, this video will cover creating um, a web page using Notepad. Now, in reality, many of you will not, if you ever get into this business, will not use Notepad to create a website. But I wanted to show you really what it takes to create a web page from the ground up. And we're going to go ahead and do that here. So I'm going to click on Start all programs, accessories, and then down to Notepad. And I'm just going to go ahead and type out, um, rather code, using HTML, hypertext markup language, um, exactly how to create a basic web page. And then later go into um, talking a little bit about um, Dreamweaver, one of the most popular HTML editors out there. OK, so HTML is uh, a markup language which basically means that you take an existing document and mark it up and the history behind it and this will be part of the video lecture but um, you know there, there's a history in academia uh, researchers wanting to share documents and wanting there to be a, an easy way to share those documents okay so you can see that I'm creating some opening tags here I'm creating the HTML opening tag every tag, well not every tag, but most tags have an opening and a closing tag. So you'll kind of get a feel for how this works um, as I'm doing it here. And all I'm doing, the uh, title tag is very typical of um, most HTML tags where you've got an opening tag here and you've got a closing tag here. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and close the heading tag. Now you can have other elements within the heading tag as well. Uh, but for now, we'll just include the title tag. The title, uh, the text between the title tag, and now you can see um, sort of the why HTML is called a markup language, because we're essentially just taking text and marking it up with an opening tag and a closing tag. All right, now I'll get right into the body tag. Um, and everything between the opening body tag and the closing body tag will be visible on the page. So we'll start by just um, creating some text. Now if we were to create text, um, you know, we could actually just type in this is my text and it would appear on the page as whatever the default browser text size and font is. Okay, so in this case uh, we'll make it a little fancier. We'll say font color equals red. Now the color is an attribute of the font tag. And we'll include an additional attribute of the font tag. Uh, we'll include the size attribute and we'll say size equals 5. And then we'll go ahead and uh, type in thanks for visiting my site. Now in the assignment associated with this chapter I'm essentially asking you to duplicate this exercise. Um, so you can pause the video and rewind it as, as necessary. Now the next thing I ask you to do is create a bulleted list and in HTML language that's called an unordered list and uh, starts out with the UL tag, the unordered list and then from here we'll just create list items LI, we'll say uh, go to the store we'll close that tag LI uh, we'll create another list item we'll say uh, go home We'll close that tag as well. Okay. And then we'll go ahead and just end that list. End that unordered list. Okay. Now there's one more thing. Actually, um, let me go ahead and just finish off the necessary tags here. So I'm closing. We've got the body tag here. And we've got the opening body tag here. All right. Now I'll just go ahead and close uh, the HTML tag. Right? And I'll include one more thing. I'd like you to include a hyperlink to one of your favorite websites. So ahref equals, and then in double quotes, uh, the link, www.cnn.com. Okay, so that's the basic um, format for a, a, a hyperlink tag. And we'll say click here to go to CNN. Okay, and we'll finish it off with a closing A tag, right? Closing anchor tag. Now, um, what I'll do next is, is this is essentially what I'm asking you to create. So, within the assignment, you'll you know highlight everything, copy it, and then paste it directly into the assignment. 
But what I'd like you to do is, what I'd like to show you rather, is I'm going to go ahead and save this. All right, we'll say save as. And to the desktop, I'll give it a name, index.htm. Okay? And I'll go ahead and hit save. And the reason I'm calling it htm is that's just an industry standard when it comes to naming home pages. So, for example, um, you know, I've, I've got a number of websites, and when I create a page for that website, a home page for that website, I'll call it index.htm, and you bring up the domain name like, you know, fyiftr.com. Index.htm page is the page that comes up. So I'd like you to, I'm going to go ahead and double click on this, make the window a little bit smaller, and I'm re only recording a, a certain part here. Okay, so I've got a couple of things here. You can see that it says welcome to my page, thanks for visiting my site, right? Click here to go to CNN and I've got my unordered list on the right hand side. Now it's not the most you know, appealing page at this point, but you can see the, um, the work that's involved in creating a basic site like this. And I can go ahead and click on, you know, go to CNN to test out my um, hyperlink as well. Now, a lot of work went into creating that page, right? So let me just right click and I'll hit open with and I'll go down to notepad, right? And I can modify some things. So let's just say size equals um, seven, right? So for thanks for visiting my site, we'll hit save. And we'll go ahead and open it again and see how that um, affected the appearance of that particular text. Thanks for visiting my site is a lot bigger, right? So a lot goes into that. now. Within Dreamweaver, right, we could actually create the same type of page using a graphical user interface um, in a fraction of the time. Okay, so that's an advantage of a program like Dreamweaver. And then we can go into the code and examine the code and make modifications as we need to. Now, understand that it's going to be a lot easier to create a page within Dreamweaver. However, if anything goes wrong with your site, if anything goes wrong with your code, you'll want to be familiar with HTML um, so that you can fix some of those problems. Now, I design all of the sites that I create with Dreamweaver now, um, and occasionally there are problems, and uh, knowledge of HTML is definitely an advantage. So, there you have it, uh, creating a basic, very basic web page using simply using Notepad um, to do that. Okay. Um, all right, I'll see you guys later.